Back in Chef Zone for our final check of Hawaii's kitchen. James Orlando's in the kitchen. He's a pizza aolo. Aolo, right? Pizza aolo. Pizza aolo. There you go. Pizza aolo. Say it like this with your hand. From Aloha Beer Company, and you're putting together. What is the name of the pizza that you've done? This one right here is yep. our Queen Street Supreme that came out of the oven. This is what it looks like after it's the finished product. And I like to put it on a cooling rack just because when a pizza comes out of the oven, you really want to let it to naturally cool, finish off the bake, almost similar to a steak. And the whole procedure with the cooling rack is so the crust can get evenly cooked, and when you cut it and you pick up the slice, it's not going to give you that old sloopy drizzle down. You kind of want that gluten structure and architecture right when you pick up the slice. And right now, the second pizza I'll be making for you guys is our barbecue chicken pizza. We just released it last week on the menu, and so far it's been the second favorite close to the Queen Street Supreme. So as we did in the first try, I've got my dough out on a slightly floured surface. I'm just going to press down and initiate that first step of the crust, maybe a little bit more flour as needed. James, it, I want to ask you, how important is sourdough? Sourdough is mo mainly important to me just because of my roots and everything. It's the only way to essentially leaven the dough if you want to do it right. The big thing about sourdough is these days, John, a lot of people have the gluten intolerance. And what's funny is a lot of people that will eat the pizza, they don't necessarily get a stomach ache from it. For one thing, using that Italian, Italian organic flour is super key. But with the natural leavening process, the gluten is so fermented and broken down that, broken down that your body doesn't overwork itself to digest it. So. Well, that's okay. good, because I'm about to try your Queen Street pizza. Right on. <laughs> so here's another way of stretching the dough. As you can see, I'm leaving it on the surface and kind of doing these little awkward breast strokes as if you were a swimmer. You always want to pat down that center, even everything out. No one necessarily wants something thin. And we go back to the classic stretch and toss, stretch and toss. You're going to keep going around. And it's kind of like a feel where it's like once you feel comfortable where it's a good size, Again, we're gonna put it onto our wooden peel that's slightly cornmealed. Here is that awesome uh, barbecue sauce that our chef Todd uh, makes in-house. It's more of an Asian-influenced barbecue sauce, like I said earlier, heavier on the clove and the cardamom. Super good, super robust flavors. Spread it around, kind of hit that crust a little and a little extra more, because why not? And after the sauce is down, we're gonna go back with that mozzarella evenly distributed all throughout the pizza just as so again the red onion for this a little bit all the way around and then just some nice shredded chicken put it all around the pizza bam all around we'll you know you've told us you've told us how to put together a couple of pizzas you've even given us some great tips mm-hmm the Absolutely. Oven, the I'm, oven, I know you guys have to have a special oven, but is there any tips for, say, like the home chef about the oven? Yeah, absolutely. If you want to have pizza parties at home, I fully encourage that 100%. Just classically go on Amazon, get yourself a Baker Stone. Baker Stone is what I'm using right now. You could find one for like $20. You put it in your oven. Home ovens always pretty much go to 550 degrees, what I'd like to do. You put that stone in your oven, blast it to 550, get it nice and hot for about an hour. Do almost something what I'm doing right here. If you don't own a peel, that's totally fine. You can use a sheet pan, upside down, same thing. A little bit of cornmeal goes a long way. You can slide it onto that hot stone. Couple minute bake time, it's gonna be good. And turn your oven off, blast your broiler on so it can get that top initial heat and melt all the toppings. And you could be making pizza at your house in no time. Aloha Beer Company serving up some unbelievable pizza and some pretty decent beers as well. We thank you so much for being with us. You have taught me a lot about pizza, and I'm hoping our viewers learned a little something too. But you can always go get the good pizza for yourself from the Pizza Aolo himself uh, over at the Aloha Beer Company. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, John. Really appreciate it. Uh, we, we certainly hope you learned something, because I did. I had a lot of fun with him, um, and I thought it was a great, uh, a great segment and, and really, really good pizza. I was going to say, you had a piece of it. You had a pizza pizza.